Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back everyone. This will be a short video. This video is really for my good subscriber and a friend, capital letters, Brett Allen. He has the Star Wars Force Awakens logo on his avatar. He's been having a hard time trying to read his inputs. You know, see how I have on my Samsung KS8000. All of my inputs are registered Xbox One, Xfinity, Blu-ray disc, PlayStation. And he's having a hard time trying to recognize these. Bro, Brett Allen, you know, all of these things, sometimes they seem complicated, but they're very simple. And it's not your fault. This is the Samsung fault. They have really had a hard time acknowledging this. I went through a menu. I couldn't find it. I had to go through some website out there somewhere deep 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 webs webs to find out how they register these uh, HDMI inputs from here well this is basically how you do it you use your controller okay let's say this one it's empty or it's called something different all you have to do is use these arrows up and down left and right up and down move it and then click up click up when you click up arrow there you can add it to the home or edit now we're not gonna add it to the home because we want to edit right so you wanna edit your inputs your HDMI inputs you click on edit you move up the arrow to the edit you click the edit and then here you can choose whether you wanna rename it Xbox one or something else so from here you can go ahead and you you can rename it any which way you want uh, so that's basically how you do that. It's very simple and you can do this with all of them You can come here. You can move this you can go to the Xfinity and you can go edit You want to call Xfinity something else you can move to the right right here and you click on it You can call it something different if you want. So that's how you do that So that way you know which one is which and then once you finish editing it you can add it to the home so you click home right here and you click on it and you edit it to the home click on it and then it stays right there marked so it's always on your dashboard right there so you can never lose it so there you go Brent Allen it's very simple stuff if you have some more questions don't hesitate to contact me man uh, sorry it took a while for me to do this for you because I got so much videos to do uh, as you know, I'm still working on my uh, PC. The next video that's going to be coming out is going to be a PC, PlayStation 4 Pro, and the Xbox One S version comparison on Ghost Recon Wildlands. Well, there you go. This is for Brett Allen. There you go. Finally, you get to do this. And I know it was, it, it was difficult at first, but it's not your fault. This is the Samsung's fault. They never really explained this. I had to go through some deep webs to find out how to do simple thing as that. All right, there you go. Have a good one, guys. I'm just helping out a fellow member. That's what I'm trying to do. Oh, yeah, and let me give a shout-out to Seth Green. Not Seth Green. Uh, Seth Gaming, S-E-T-H, Seth Gaming, which is the S-E-T-H, Seth Gaming. And, of course, shout-out to Dirty Sp uh, Sprite. And um, who else I'm missing out? Um, triggering retro, you know what? <laughs> and of course, Mr. Shooters. All right, guys, have a good one.